What's up guys, my name is Jordi for Cinecam.net and you're watching Copycat Friday! A weekly series where we recreate an effect from a famous movie or music video. And today we are recreating the sky transition from Travis Scott. Stop trying to be God. No! And before we start, I'd first like to make a shout out to Videoblocks, our channel sponsor. It's a huge library of stock footage, video effects, after effects, templates, and a ton more. Now recently, we've also been adding video assets to the library, such as these gun muzzle flashes. There's only a single price per year, which allows you to download unlimited files. For more info, make sure to click the first link in the description below. So Travis Scott came out with a pretty cool music video packed with tons of visual effects and we are going to recreate that sky transition. From Alpha to Omega, VHS to Beta, PlayStation to Sega, my skill is still greater. The sickest thing since VD, wicked like VG, live my life crooked like the left finger on ET. The shots that you're going to need are super simple. Just put your camera on a tripod and take a shot. That's it. You do have to pay attention that there is plenty of sky visible. We actually shot this in 6K resolution on the Panasonic GH5 and gave some extra room to the subject as we're going to digitally zoom later on. You can also film with a drone, which can give some really cool results. Also here, you don't have to do anything special. Simply let your drone hang in the sky and tilt your camera down. The entire sky transition is done in post-production. Listen to my style so much, I'm just trying to get by, I'm just saying. For real, I'm just saying. So we're here to take three shots. That's the only thing that we're going to need to create two transitions. Uh, one of them was going to be the drone shot that we just did. And now we are off to the mountain up there to take two more shots on the tripod. Because I did it with no airplay. Wild out in the lot, well that's hearsay. I'm just trying to do my thing, shine like a star. Skills in the place, better, you know who we are. We've got all of our shots now, so let's go back to the office and create that transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. In Adobe Premiere Pro, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new sequence. And from the advanced tab, you want to set a custom resolution. The width can stay the same as your source resolution, but the height is going to be the double. So if you shot everything in full HD, your height will be 2160 instead of the normal 1080. In this sequence, you can now place the two shots that will transition on top of each other. Put one clip to the bottom with the position property and the other one to the top. The clip on top should be rotated, so you can do this either from the rotation property or apply the vertical flip effect to it. And this should already match the sky, but you're probably still seeing this edge of the two clips. But since everything was shot on a tripod, it's actually now very easy to make any changes in here. For example, you can move the clips over each other. Then with the top clip selected, head over to the opacity property. Click on the pen tool and draw a rough mask around the clip, but make sure that you cut a little bit into the sky. Finally, feather the mask until your two clips are blended together. And it now feels like they share the same sky. And if you like, you can also create that holy cloud in here now, or that portal to heaven from the music video. For that, we worked with a bunch of stock images of clouds. Try to look for clouds that have a hole in them. Once you have a couple, you can place them into that sequence as well. In the middle, there's probably some blue sky, which we can remove with the ultra key. And since it are clouds, you can feather the edge of the ultra key to the maximum. Do this for all the layers of the clouds, except for the one on the bottom. And finally, I'm going to add a global picture of a big cloud structure on top of that and use the mask tool to cut out a hole in it too. Now, because we are going to animate that transition, we can already go ahead and add a little bit of parallax movement into the clouds. Look for the points where you want the transition to start. There you can enable the position animation for all the clouds. In the beginning, we're going to move the cloud in the back up a little. The next one goes up some more, the next one even more, etc. Then move forward in time and push the position of all the layers down. And like before, the one in the back will offset the least and the one in the front the most. And having such an offset in the position animation gives you a sense of depth or that parallax effect. You can now go ahead and select all the cloud layers, right click and choose nest. With the nested sequence selected, head over to the opacity property again and click on the ellipse mask tool. Adjust the size and position of the mask around the hole in the clouds and feather it a bunch. Now since this is the gateway to heaven, there has to come out some golden light. So let's open up Lumetri and push some orange in here. 
You can also play around with the highlights to let it glow a little bit more or increase the saturation to make it pop. Finally, open up the Lumetri effects in your effects controls and click again on the Mask Ellipse preset, which you want to position over the hole and obviously feather a bunch. And that is how you can create that gateway to heaven. Thank you. Best for the working. Cynicum prank wars. And now comes the actual transition. What I'm gonna do now is create a new sequence, and this time in a normal resolution. In there, I'm going to drag the sequence that I've created prior, and make sure that this button right here is enabled before you do that. And the cool thing now is that we can just simply play around with the position to transition from one scene to another. But before you're going to place your keyframes for the position property, it's important to first get your anchor point in place. An easiest way to do that is by selecting the motion property, which allows you to visually move the anchor point to the second shot or the one that you're going to transition to. And now you can go ahead and animate the position, but make sure to also right click on the first keyframe and choose ease out, and right click on the last keyframe to choose ease in. And this is to make sure that your animation starts and stops smooth. And if you like, you can now also animate the rotation property so that your second shot sits up back straight. You will notice now that it will rotate around that anchor point, which is why that we've moved it in there first. If you would have done this after the position animation, it will just screw that up. And for the final touch, make sure to scale up the entire clip a little bit, or you can also animate the scale property if you like so to cover up the edges of the clip, which become visible because of that rotation. And that's it! Well, I'm just saying. Ladies and gentlemen, wanna welcome oh, you all out oh, to a musical extravaganza called the Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Video Blogs, for the support. If you guys really want me to cut my hair, then let me know again in the comments and I'll do it. Stay creative. So I thought to buy a nice little drone so I can make quick shots. But that's not working. I'm trying to get this thing in the air for about an hour now, and it's still not working. First, the connection won't work, and now the calibration doesn't work because there's electrical interference here somewhere. I hate drones! Ah!